Big Island is such a special place. For us locals, it's the Hawaii we know and love. We are a tight-knit community where local values and local roots are important for our families. KTA Superstores have been a valued member of the community since 1916. And our philosophy has been a commitment to humbly serve the people of our community. During the next half hour, you'll meet the farmers, ranchers, and other local suppliers that are committed to the sustainability and resilience of not only their local community, but to the state of Hawaii. For us at KTA, supporting local this is what we're all about. And from 1916, from the day the company was founded, all the way to four generations of president, right? We still live by that slogan that, you know, you take care of your customers, take care of your employees, and you take care of your suppliers. And that's what local is. We have this slogan, you're someone special every day. And to me, that's so important that, you know, we treat people special, not just customers, but our employees, and our suppliers, and as you can see, we have amazing suppliers, right? It's a togetherness store. We come here, and like I say, we see people that we know, we love, and yeah, it's a bond here. I feel like we see family members, and we go home happy. So I love coming to KTA. I work here six and a half years, and I gotta say, our stuff is top tier. I get to do a bunch of fun stuff, like making poke cutting fish and I get to do a lot of stuff that I enjoy and I never thought that I would be enjoying. A very beautiful customer. She comes here after every work, day. every day <laughs> after work. So what are you making tonight? I am making fufus and hamburger patties, lokomoko. That's what makes Silo so special. You look around at this store, you look at all the people, you look at all the customers, look at everyone. I mean, everyone's like happy. Everyone is one big family, right? And that hopefully creates that ripple effect for the entire island. It motivates me to come work every day and, and try to do something good for the community. KTA, every day. Shaka! I am Gladys Arada and I am a mochi maker. My mom used to love to make mochi and give it away to friends. It is hard. In fact, we worked together because she was my teacher. And I said, so why doesn't the mochi stick to your fingers and it sticks to my finger? And she said, oh, that's because you need more practice. I decided to change my career from a hairdresser to a mochi maker. I feel I put my heart and soul into this. I like the process, it's, it's challenging. Every day someone like stops and says that either the chichi mochi or the peanut butter is their favorite. Every now and then me and my grandma like to race and see who can finish one tray the, before each other. I'm the winner and she won't admit it. give samples of my mochi to Derek and KTA, yeah. yeah at KTA and Derek thankfully loved my mochi and so that's how it all started. I mean I've been so lucky well thanks to Derek we have peanut butter mochi and this one sells like hotcakes I cannot make enough of this I mean I get so many compliments on it. Definitely, this is the best job I ever had. Farming and ranching is the backbone of our island agriculture. Generations of local families work hard every day to bring you the best of what Hawaii can produce. Stay tuned.
Our relationship with KTA started in the late 80s. We had our original farm up in Curtistown and we grew Cavendish and my dad saw something in the apple banana variety and he slowly started propagating it. When we developed the Mountain Apple program with KTA, it just felt like a really good fit. You know, it's, it's one of the best stores. They're the only real local store in Hilo. And for us to have a product that has their label on it gives us great satisfaction knowing that not only does the store we support support the community, but the store that supports us helps us support the community as well. One of our heart behind what we do has always been community. We started with a small farm to try to impact the community revitalize agriculture, do something a little bit different than is normally being done. I guess agriculture isn't something that you wake up in the morning and say, hey, let's be farmers. I realized how important it was to me as a father, as well as being a son and having a family business, that it was more important for me to take up the mantle, if you will, and, and follow in my dad's footsteps to do something that has more meaning than just a paycheck, something that will basically help to sustain my family and generations to come if done right. Sustainability is very important and it's something that I think us as a people in Hawaii also need to understand that if we don't take that seriously with the current climate changes and the weather patterns and what we have going on, eventually we're gonna run into a situation where unless you're willing to go outside and plant all your own food, you're gonna be bringing in or purchasing imported fruit. My name is Leo Norberte. I am uh, from Kau. I am a Kau coffee farmer. When the sugar shut down, then I start uh, growing coffee in 1996. Like now, grow coffee, I own the business. Like uh, you work with sugar, you work for somebody. I start five acres, now I get 50 acres. So I supply almost all the store in the island, and especially KTA, the Mountain Apple brand. My coffee is consistent. That's why the buyer, they like my coffee, because every time it's good. But they plant a sugar cane over 100 years. Now we plant coffee, a nice dirt, good climate, no irrigation. That's how the, the Kao coffee is more famous. So I think that's what the reason why the, the taste is more sweet. Maybe, I don't know, I'm not too sure. The county of Hawaii will give me a word. All the representatives will sign. This uh, Hawaii Coffee Association, Kao, I come first place, and the state of Hawaii, third place. Yeah, this is the guy roasting my coffee every week. Most of my buyer in the mainland, you know, when they come to Hawaii, they go KTA and they buy, they bring home, then they try drink, and then they say, hey, I like your coffee. So that's how I get plenty of buyer from the mainland. My name is Justin Hiroko of Hiroko Farms. My great-grandfather started this operation as a, a Japanese truck farmer and he started this field over here, 20 acres. And over the years, he and my grandfather had uh, acquired more land, grew the operation to what it is now, which is about 145 acres total. This is a green head cabbage that we have here and we sell all of it to KTA. We value our our community and being in a, a small island state in the middle of the Pacific, we have to really be thoughtful of our food security and uh, small local businesses like us really help the, the food security here in Hawaii. We feel a great responsibility to help provide uh, fresh produce for our local community here on the big island. And uh, we only have a limited supply of food on the island at any given time. It's very vital to have a source of food here, right here on the big island. The harvesting operation is very labor intensive. It's a little bit old school the way we do it right now, but um, we are looking at uh, new technologies that we could possibly employ to kind of help with our 
uh, harvesting operation. For the next generation of farmers, I'd say uh, just focus on the technology. The technology is going to be the, the big thing that comes next for, for farming. Um, for everything like irrigation, uh, machinery, even uh, with labor because it's been very challenging uh, finding labor. I have a feeling that uh, technology is going to have a big part in that, helping solve that problem. Frank's Foods was started by my grandfather in 1955. I am the granddaughter to Frank Friends who created Frank's Foods. My dad was born in Stuttgart, Germany, always harboring the desire to have his own business. The man that started it all, my father, who was very well trained and very smart. There he, there he is there holding Portuguese sausage hanging over his arm and behind him you can see a rack that's full of Portuguese sausage. Thank you. This has been my life my entire life. So the fact that I may be lucky enough to one day continue the good work that my dad has done and that my grandpa started, the relationship that we have with our community is everything. You know, without our community, like I was saying earlier, we really are nothing, right? Every business relies on its customers and our community here, the island of Hawaii, the big island specifically, is our home. This is where we've all been. My dad was born and raised Hilo. I'm born and raised Hilo. These are, these are our people. This is our family. It's a long-standing business working relationship that started with my grandpa. KTA is and will continue to be one of our most important business relationships. And working with people such as the infamous Derek Carisu, right, brings a lot of opportunity for continued growth expansion, new ideas, new opportunities. If we don't have something, we will send them down to KTA because we have that working relationship and we know what they carry, they know what we carry, and it's a continuous uh, working relationship that just flourishes over time. It really and truly does. Marine aquaculture is the future of our food security and Hawaii has the purest ocean water to be found anywhere. Marine farmers, are adapting to our island growing needs. Big Island Abalone Farm and Ocean Era are the leaders of marine aquaculture here on the Big Island. Through innovations and commitment to our community, they help keep us connected to our local values of who we are. Big Island Abalone Farm started in 1998. We have about 400 tanks of abalone, the biggest abalone farm in the country. This is a very strategic part of the world where we actually have the best water on earth. This is how the abalones live right here. As you can see, they're super healthy and fresh. 95% of it that's consumed around the world comes from a farm because there isn't any more in the wild. If there's any place that's good for farm raising abalone in a clean, sustainable manner, it's right here on the big island of Hawaii. The, you know, the abalone is faced in danger. The somebody uh, needs to you know, keep uh, the aquaculture um, with a sustainable way. So the, we, will, we will not join as a part of that ecosystem. We sell the abalone to the KTA store. Uh, they, the KTA has support the local farmers. This island here is such a special place. A lot of that natural resources like the volcano. But you know, we don't talk about the water. 3,000 feet deep sea water creating all of these businesses over here. I mean, it's the most cleanest thing on earth. Raising food with the clean water. I mean, we, we should be so grateful for that. It's providing so many jobs for the local people here. KTA does support this 100%, and what we're looking at is also having more product being sold at KTA so it can help out island-wide. The location you, you can get uh, abalone here on the big island is here on the farm and also the KTA store. It markets Hawaii the way Hawaii should be, clean, beautiful, and everything else.
My name's Neil Anthony Sims, and I'm the founder and CEO of Ocean Era here in Kona, Hawaii. Ocean Era is an offshore aquaculture research and development company that we view offshore aquaculture as a way that we can grow the seafood that humanity needs. Hawaii needs, but all of humanity needs more seafood, and we can grow it in a sustainable, responsible way so that we're not just taking from the ocean, we're actually learning how to give back as well. They will spawn, then they'll fertilize the eggs and we'll collect the eggs as the water drains out of the tank. The idea of feeding people was something that's really nutritious and delicious, and that there was a global need for more seafood. Around the turn of the century, around 2000, we started to focus on marine food fish. But Ocean Era now is looking at, well, what is the next big thing? What else do we need to be looking at? And so we've been doing some research with Nanue, which we're really excited about. In the hatchery, we feed them over the next 30 days or so. We can then move them into the tanks and grow them up to a size where we might start to move them out offshore. These here are the sea grapes. This is like eating champagne. When we're thinking about ways to scale seafood production to help feed a hungry world, there's a greater recognition about the need for food self-sustainability here in Hawaii. And so partnering up with KTA is a great way to be able to make that come to reality. After the break, we visit Punalu Bakery in Kau and catch up with Scott Saito of Honda Foods in Hilo. So the bakery started here in 1991, however prior to that it was a little bakery operating out of a kitchen at the Black Sands Punalu restaurant. We started off as like maybe 20 employees and now we got like 55 employees. Some of our hottest ticket items are going to be the 24 ounce loaves. You're not going to see them anywhere else like that, you know, the long loaves uncut, just beautiful taro, guava, and our traditional sweet dough. You're just not gonna see that anywhere else. We're the only bakery doing it. The fundraising for Punalu, my dad feels like positive feedback on the Punalu bread because you don't see that a lot. A lot of times in the store, it's, a lot of, oh, it's really expensive, so we do the Punalu bread. You kind of get the cheaper side, the deals, by doing the fundraiser. Additionally, our malasadas that you can get here at the restaurant, I mean, we're one of the highest rated places on the Big Island to visit for a reason almost close to 1,300 malasalas a day. And we start that off at 3 o'clock in the morning. KTA has a great, you know, partnership with the local industry, you know, farmers, all kinds of things. And it just, it makes you feel better purchasing from, you know, local. It's important for us to support each other so that we can grow together. We've been a Mountain Apple brand partner for 15 years producing you know, the lava cookies, some of their wonderful breads like the Dakine bread. And what we like about that partnership is, is that brand specifically works with local industries to keep it local you know, and support us. I'm Scott Saito and my company's Honda Food Processing. I was born and raised in Hilo and then I went to Waikia High School. I have a love and a passion for food and I wanted to share some foods that I make with my local community. And when I met Mr. Honda, one of the big things we discussed was that it's an honor and it's a privilege to feed your local community. These are a lot of the products we make. So you'll see we have our kimchi, our ichiyazukes, our takuans, our island-made salsa. And then we have a couple of KTA specials, um, the Mountain Apple brand, Ogo Namasu, and pickled Ogo Tomato. And so when I started to take over Honda Foods, I needed help. I needed someone to help me push my products, to get exposure, to have somewhere to sell it. And KTA and Mr. Kurisu gave me a platform to do that. Not only did he give me shelf space to sell my product, but he put me in contact with a lot of local farmers. 
And for us, local produce is what we're most proud about. All of our products use locally sourced vegetables. We try to get everything turned around in 24 hours. So from the time we pick it up to the time it goes into a cup, you're looking at less than 24 hours. I think one thing that's really fascinating about the Big Island is that we have volcanic rich soil. We have 10 out of the 13 major climate zones. And we have here in Hilo, over 10 feet of rainfall every year. So we're primed to produce some of the best produce in the entire world. And what we'd like to do is take the produce that our local farmers raise and showcase them in our products. One of our main foundational pillars for our company is buying local, supporting local, and being sustainable. Community is the heart of KTA, and we are committed to bring you the very best of what our island can provide. Our local suppliers are woven into the fabric of our society and culture, some for generations. They're the ones who day in and day out work hard in providing the best quality, best value for all of us. Remember, support local. KTA Superstars is humbled to be part of the community and we will continue to serve the best way that we can. From the entire Kitty Ohana, mahalo and aloha.